getting ready to take this up to the frame machine right now. And get that dealt with. We gotta load up the door and head up there. Alright guys, we just got up the SNS Service Center. Uh, we're gonna be dropping the ridge line off here. They got a frame machine. They're gonna be doing the, the framework for it. Well, not really framework, but just pulling out this, this one hinge for the door. So we just we just got done talking to the mechanic. And uh, yeah, if you guys need someone to work on your, uh, your frame or do any kind of uh, brakes or tune-ups, anything like that, uh, they even do towing here. Uh, Give them a call, SNS Service Center. A few moments later. All right, guys, we just got back up here to SNS to take a look at the ridge line. Let's go check it out. See what see what we got done on this door here. Look, yeah. Is that what they do on the remaining effect? Yeah, it does. We have locking ring up front. We pull a little inside inside. Good. What do you think? I'm impressed. These folks do good work. Very happy with them. Yeah, got it out. Like, Appreciate the subscription, man. I saw your comments man. on it. They, uh, they cut. See how they cut? Yeah. Appreciate your hard work. Looks good. Not it at all. Yeah. Also had the uh, power steering pump replaced. It was. Look at that. Awesome. Uh, Mike over here is gonna be painting the truck in the future, at least that's what I'm told on that. Um, I'm glad to be farming out this paint job. because I've been watching all them guys for a hot minute. Yep. ready to start throwing this interior back in i had to get some etching primer for that seam there where the paint had burnt off where we were welding the shell there i don't know how well you can see it but the rest of this mess is going to be put up i got to put this back piece in first and then the rest of it can go in uh, i'm just going to put it in the the way that i took it out just so i know it's the right way to do it and uh me and my dad just got back from home depot picked this up some new tools the Milwaukee combo kit, Sawzall impact driver, that's a flashlight. Oh hell yeah. Look at this. this is probably my favorite right here, a little ratchet. Flashlight, dang. It's pretty sweet. And, and the, this, it came with an adapter so you can run the smaller sockets on it too. Oh nice, that's nice. Heck yeah man. It's a good price, two batteries, a charger, was it five tools? I don't know if you can count the flashlight as a tool, but we will today. Yeah. 
I'll throw it back on a time lapse and start getting this interior done.
right guys so uh we're replacing this uh door handle cable this piece broke it's from the older ridge line these doors are a lot older so when we went to put it back together this piece just quit working so this won't work so i got the new cable right there from our other door so i just got to swap those out already got the screws out just got to unhook this piece right here from the door handle and then I can pop that right back in. All right, I'm gonna send it back to a time lapse.
quick walk around uh we do just have like a panel there that we need to put back on but we're just waiting on some poppers so probably not going to make a whole video on just installing that piece um sorry about the lighting we finished kind of late but uh it's done nonetheless i had to swap the door cable on this one the whole latch and everything had to come out so got that all buttoned up got a new glove box installed the old one was scratched up and we also got the new armrest in on both sides of the you want to show them awesome work got that replaced that was a pain in the ass but it was done uh but yeah paint looks pretty good at night and during the day it's a little rough but could have been a, uh, they could have done a better job but overall it's it's about a six out of ten just the whole thing's buttoned up front end and that's gonna be it for the ridgeline rebuild well done pop bring it in for the high five good finished job. good work finished finally Finally. What is that? It's about a year later. Well, the accident was in May, so it's going on a year and a half. Yeah. So, but we didn't really start on it for it set for what, four or five months. Before yeah, we most of the time we probably would have had this done in half the time, but because we were looking for parts, that's really what took the majority of the COVID time. Too was like, and then you yeah, find some parts. COVID. You go to order them and. I would we had, I order parts at three different places and they come back and cancel the order. We have problems getting the trailer hitch. Yep. We couldn't even find that. The order got canceled like 10 times back and forth. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely nice to have this thing done. So, and then you kind of see the door gaps pretty good. It's a little low there, but you know, this thing was totaled when we started. So, vast improvement i mean it's 160,000 miles on this truck and hopefully another 160 to go so yeah, we got a good hundred thousand on but yeah that's going to be it for the ridgeline videos i hope you guys enjoyed them uh probably be starting another project here soon not quite sure i've been looking for a a mustang or something to to build out i don't know yet uh, might just do a couple other little stupid things. Uh, just thinking about doing a scooter or something. I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, we're going to put up our tools and call it a night and uh, probably go get some dinner. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for the next project. We might do some Lancer stuff here soon, too. Might need to do an oil pump on that one. Definitely going to do the tent on it or take it somewhere to get the tent done. But I might have that whole process uh, recorded. All right. Deuces.